Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create base plate in Tecla old version. Just like this. Okay, let's start. To open Tecla structures, double click on this icon on your desktop. Environment, you need to select US Imperial and roll steel detailing and configuration steel detailing. Then click on OK. Next, click on this new model. Let's take model name new model 6 and model template state detailing and model type single user. Then click on OK. Now click on this still review. Then click on this arrow and close this window. Click on here and drag it. Then click on here to maximize the window like this. Okay, now we're going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Then click on create. Then click on OK and click on OK. Okay, now we're going to create steel column. So click on this icon, create steel column, and pick the position at here to create the column. Now right click on most interrupt. Now we're going to edit this column. So double click on this column. If you want to change the profile, you can click on here and you can choose the profile from the standard list here. Then click on apply. Okay. I'm going with the default profile W16 by 50. Now we're going to change the height and the bottom level and top level. So Click on this position tab and let's take the bottom level 0. Now click on modify. You can see now the bottom level should be 0. Similarly, we're going to change the top level. Let's take here 15 feet. Now click on modify. Apply. OK. Click on space. Right to come on. You can see now we have the column like this. OK. Now we're going to create base plate at this location. At the bottom of this column. So go to application components. We use the shortcut control F. In search bar, type 1042. Then click on search here. You will get the result here. Click on this option. Now scroll it down. And you need to select here base plate 1042. Select this component. And you can see in command bar, it's asking pick part. So select the column. And now pick the position at gradient section point. Click on gradient section point to create the base plate. Now close this window, right click mouse interrupt, click on space, right click mouse redraw view. Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. You can rotate like this. You can see now we have default base plate like this. Okay, now I'm going to edit this base plate as we require. So double click on this base plate and zoom out and zoom in here. Okay, now we're going to change the base plate thickness. So click on this parts tab. In parts, by default, we have 3 by 4 inch thickness of this base plate. For example, we're going to take here 1 inch. Then click on modify. You can see now this base plate thickness should be 1 inch. Now go to anchors tab. In anchor rod tab, you can adjust the anchor rod size. For example, we're going to take here anchor rod. So you click on here and let's take here 1 inch anchor rod. Then click on apply OK. Similarly, we're going to change the nut and washer profile also 1 inch. So click on here. Uh, let's take 1 inch heavy hex nut. Then click on apply OK. Similarly, click on here and let's take 1 inch washer. Then click on apply OK. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this anchor rod size should be 1 inch. Similarly, you can change the length of this anchor rod from here as per requirement. For example, we're going to take here 1 inch. 1 feet 8 inch then click on modify you can see now this length should be 1 feet 8 inch now coming to here you can change the anchor rod shape at the bottom here click on here let's take this j type then click on modify you can see you will get like this if you want to change the another type then click on select this one and then click on modify you can see you will get like this okay now we're going to take this type of shape then click on modify you'll get like this now coming to the number of anchors and spacing between the anchors go to the bolts tab in bolts tab you can control the number of anchors and the spacing between the anchors from here for example we're going to take here anchor rod size one inch and tolerance should be one five by sixteen if you want to change you can change from here for the tolerance now coming to here let's take the edge regions we're going to take here 4 inch and now we're going to change the anchor number of anchors 
on one side let's take here three inch and the spacing we're going to take here five inch then click on modify you can see you'll get like this you can see now this four inch indicates the spacing between anchor to edge of this base plate now this three indicates the number of anchors on one side you can see one two three and three on other side now this five inch indicates the spacing between these two anchors five inch similar we're going to change in width wise uh, so now we're going to rotate like this and use the shortcut control to shaded view like this now zoom it you can see now select this base plate now click on here let's take the edge distance in width wise let's take here two inch and number of boards in this width wise let's take two and the spacing we're going to take here five inch then click on modify you can see now these two indicate two inch indicates the spacing between the bolt to edge of this base plate in width wise and this two also indicates the edge distance and this two indicates the number of bolts in width wise and this this five inch indicates the spacing between these two anchors then click on modify apply okay click on space right click mouse shader view use the shortcut control four for render view use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point you can rotate like this okay at the bottom of this base plate this indicates the grouting if you don't require grout then double click on this base plate now go to anchor tab. you can see now here by default grout uh, size is the half inch if you want to increase you can increase from here let's take one inch then click on modify you can see now this grout thickness should be one inch if you don't require grout then just make it zero then click on modify if you don't have any growth like this then click on modify apply ok click on space right limo you can see like this ok that's it about how to create base plate in tecla old version if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla sexual related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tackle structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you